What's up everybody, my name is Mike Perea and in this video we're talking about the Nikon Z6 time lapse. Now this is by far I think the best time lapse camera, the Z6 and the Z7 mirrorless camera available. So we're going to talk about the features here for just a second and then we're going to go into how to shoot. So the Z6 and the Z7 both do in camera time lapses. Now the Z6 will shoot a 1080p in camera which means it'll create the movie in the camera which is huge for reducing time on post-processing because if you guys have seen my video which is a day to night time lapse i'm going to link it up right here my full workflow from start to finish from in the field to post-processing on my time lapses they are very time consuming so to have it done in the camera is huge the z7 will actually do a 4k in camera time lapse which is awesome now you really don't want to do those if the light's changing and the exposure is changing a lot like a day to night time lapse but if you're doing just a normal if you want b-roll you want just clouds or if you're doing a night sky where the exposure isn't going to change then the time lapse movie mode is awesome the second way you want to do it is shooting with the intervalometer built in, shooting stills, then combining them later on in post-processing. Like I said, you'll have my full workflow in that video of what I do when I post-process my images now. Using the intervalometer is nice because the Z6 will do a 4K time lapse with the intervalometer shooting stills, but yes, you can actually do a 4K with this camera, which is awesome. Now, the Z7 will actually do an 8K time lapse. So let's get into how to shoot in the movie mode, then we'll talk about the time lapse intervalometer. So what you want to do, you want to go into your photo shooting menu. You're going to find your time lapse movie. Now, your interval is how often you're going to take the shot. So normally, if you're doing just a normal clouds, I would say about 10 seconds. If the clouds are moving a little bit faster, you want to be about maybe five seconds, or you can even go faster than that. It's up to you. The only thing is you want to have the interval longer than your shutter speed. So go into your interval, choose the setting you want, have your shooting time. So if you want to shoot for 25 minutes, it'll show you down here on the bottom. If you shoot for 25 minutes every 10 seconds, you're going to have a 2.6 second time lapse. Now I like to keep my time lapses around six seconds, maybe 10 or 15 if I'm doing a, a day to night time lapse. So usually six seconds is a long time lapse. It's really good. So what I'll do is I'll go up and I'll just keep going up until it says over here on the left hand side, five seconds. So it's going to be about a 49 minute shoot. So the, the entire duration of this shoot for the time lapse is going to be about uh, 49 minutes. Now exposure smoothing, I usually leave off. Now what that does is that if the light does change, uh, the camera will automatically kind of try and adjust it. I don't like it to do that. Like I said, if I'm setting it up for a movie, I don't want the exposure changing at all. I want it to be the same. I don't want to introduce anything that could be a flicker or anything like that. So I leave it off. So everything's set up to go, go up and then just uh, hit start. Now, before you hit start, you make sure you have a proper exposure before you start shooting, obviously. And then, uh, yeah, just hit the button, start shooting. And just like that movie in camera, absolutely amazing. Just like I said, such an amazing feature. If you're just shooting B-roll, if you don't want to use any stills from the time lapse, then this is an awesome function. The next thing we're going to do is go into your interval time sh timer shooting. I use this when the light's gonna change. With the Z6, because it's a 24 megapixel camera, if I wanna shoot the 4K, I have to use an intervalometer that's built in, which like I said, this is one of the only cameras, especially one of the only mirrorless cameras that has a built-in intervalometer, which is awesome. You don't have to get a separate uh, plugged-in intervalometer, wireless, or anything like that. It's all set up in the camera. Almost the same thing as the movie mode, but it's a little bit different. You got a little more options here, so I'm gonna show you guys we're gonna go through. So you got your interval, just like you would in the movie mode, but here, you're gonna go over your intervals and the number of shots per interval. So you wanna do one shot per interval. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that alone. And then you're gonna choose how many shots you want. So instead of choosing, choosing your duration and it giving you what you want, you have to do a little bit of math here. So let's say if you want a six second time lapse, and the way I shoot my movies is I use a frame rate of 24 frames per second. So I round that to usually 25. So I know 150 shots. I'm going to get about a six second time lapse. If I want anything longer, obviously, then I just do the math and double it. So uh, 300 second or 300 shots is going to give me about a 12 second time lapse and so on. So I use that. Once again, exposure smoothing off, silent photography on, and
yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's how you guys are going to set up whether you're going to do a 4K or a 1080p in-camera time lapse with the Z6. Now, guys, what I want to do is take you guys into my night shot. We're going to head, we're going to fast forward to tonight, and I'm going to show you guys how to do my star images. So let's go. All right, you guys, so now we are ready to shoot a night lapse. I'm going to use, like I said, the 1080p in-camera video that it's going to create for me or in-camera movie that's going to create for me. So I've already taken my exposure. I've already adjusted the focus. I know that my exposure is going to be good. I'm shooting ISO 4000, uh, f2.8 at 8 seconds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my menu, into my shooting menu, and I'm going to go down to where it says time-lapse movie like I did before and uh, go to my interval. Now my interval is going to be uh, 10 seconds. My shutter speed is going to be 8 seconds. So like I said, it's always your interval has got to be longer than your shutter speed. I don't need to check the exposure, so I don't need to have it too long. Like I don't need a 15 second uh, interval. I know that like, my exposure is good. I got some light on the rocks because we've got a building over here that's shining the light up on these rocks here. So it's going to look a little funky, but it's still going to work. So my interval is going to be 10 seconds. Now I'm going to go down to my shooting time. Because I want a five second clip, uh, my interval or my shooting time is going to be 49 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up. I'm going to start shooting. And then that's going to be it. I'm going to go ahead and head back to my truck and probably just hang out for uh, 45 or 49 minutes until it's done. And then I can come back and check on it. So this is going to be straight out of the camera. You guys are going to see it right now. All right, guys. So that works out fantastic. I don't have to do any post-processing to that. It's right out of the camera, 1080p with the Z6. Uh, with the Z7, it's 4K out of the camera. The in-camera time-lapse just works fantastic. So that's gonna be it, guys. Uh, any questions about the Z6 or the Z7, just leave them in the comments below. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.